I'm gonna eat Prem's food until he gets you. Getting hungry. Getting hungry, I'm gonna eat Prem's food. <laughs> I've heard people come to me and go, could you play some hip hop? And I'm playing, you know, I'm playing Houdini or Cool Mo D. Uh, I don't slap women, but that's the one time I actually need to have one of those big slap hands that you just whack people with. Because yep. it's like, who, where are you educated to even think that you can come in this place and party with me if you ain't up on good music all across the board? You play Don't Stop Believing in any club, now it, it jumps off. I bet you a couple of years ago, if, you, if somebody didn't press that, it wouldn't do what it do because it's not from the generation of today. Now, there ain't no place that doesn't sing Don't Stop Believing. It. It's almost a karaoke song now. And I like that, the fact that somebody pushed those records and made them pure again. So you have, a, you, have you know, certain ones that, 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 it, that are top 40 that I applaud. And there's a lot of them that is top 40 that ain't going to make no sense. But the fact that it's, gonna, it's never going to go away because it, top 40 is a, is a category, basically, that's, that will exist forever in, in music. It's all about knowing how to change lanes and go elsewhere without being afraid to be the first one to do it. DJ P... <laughs> I've seen him mix the craziest things from What's Love Got to Do With It from Tina Turner to even doing the Green Eggs and Ham where all of a sudden there's no records on the turntable and the music's still playing. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, who hasn't seen Dr. Seuss, the Green Eggs and Ham? Who don't know that book? You know, every child has grown up with that book. Even the new generation has grown up on Dr. Seuss. So for us to, like I said, we're, we're gap bridges. I'm a, I bridge gaps, he bridges gaps. And we're not afraid to pull our dicks out, so to speak, and, and go hard body with it. You know, and, and, and t I, like tonight, if there's certain records that they don't get with, I'll stop the music and scream at them for not knowing because if you're here to see, see me, you should want to be influenced by what I like. So there's stuff that I had to have grown up on that made me be what I am. And that's all the old original B-Boy stuff from the 70s, 80s, the breaks, Peace of President, Substitution, you know, well, not, well, Last Night Changed It All. You know, uh, uh, Stomp by the Brothers Johnson. There's just certain records that just do it. You know, Ain't We Funkin' Now, like uh, Mary Jane, anything James Brown. Like, you can just go hot, man. It's dope. Like, anything James Brown. Like, he, he invented funk. Like, funk is his own category. And that's what that gave birth to Parliament and things like that. The Osley Brothers and all of them used to do stuff more on a rock and roll level and they all twisted it around and did something else. And that's the reason why. I continue to educate through music. Music is education, but you can still enjoy it while you're being educated. I like to combine the two. If they ain't feeling me, believe me, I'm gonna have the last word before I walk off that stage. I don't care if they throw a bottle. I'm still gonna have the last word. I'm gonna be like, you missed, motherfucker. And, uh, hey, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> That's pretty um, much it. Second question. Yeah. Of four. Damn. We're almost done. We can do three. No, no, it's all good. This is for P, man. It's Second question about Toronto. Technology taken away from the art. My man Evidence said this earlier today from Dolly to People. He said, yo, you make the machine do what we love about you already. These other kids don't do that. So Serato is really a gift for people like me and P because we've loved mad records for years. We've scraped our fingers. and I got so many cuts on my hands, some from hitting people, but <laughs> that's, that's old stuff. But just... You know, we've been scarred up from hauling speakers, equipment, turntables, walking upstairs, you know, the whole nine yards, three, four, five in the morning, tired, and still hauling our equipment because we love what we do. And no one's even helping us sometimes because we got to be there and we don't let nothing stop our groove. And we both have hauled our, our we've done gigs together with other cats that's around on me and them were the only ones rocking vinyl. Every gig for Scion and shit. I'm still on vinyl. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to convince him now because Jazzy Jeff, is a person that convinced me. I watched how he got busy. I was like, damn, okay, so you can still go off because I don't want to take away my go-off ability. I want people to still see me cut, do a little routine, do little funny breakdowns because I thought that would all disappear with Serato, but it's really a good tool because now I have 10,000 songs right there in the, in, in the vault and I can go so many different directions. I got my rock, rock I got my grown and sexy, I got my breaks, I got my pre premiere production, premiere instrumentals, acapellas, and the thing is, we're still gonna manipulate it the, like if we are pulling out record after record after record, so we still put the skill aspect and make the Serato work for us in a skillful way. These other kids just pushing the button, songs on, that's it. And, they're like sitting there throwing their hands up doing this and the crowd's jumping around but it's like 
I call those job stealers, and even they'll fall off. They'll, they'll fall. They, 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 they'll lose their jobs because the more we get nice on Serato, the less they're gonna be wanted because they're not doing anything but putting the record on. We had a different dimension. I get on the mic. I do everything to make sure that the crowd has a party until the last record is played. And then once the doors close, you, you'll remember the night. You know what I'm saying? So Serato is definitely based on who's touching it. If we touch it, you're gonna get the same skills and 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 applications that that you love from us and the ones that don't have skills you're gonna see them just stand there and just play songs and 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 to me that that's the difference it's a rewarding tool for djs that have paved the way and toured and carried records and own more than 100 records if you don't own at least a thousand records you're not a dj for real you're a button pusher we are DJs. I've been to his house. I've seen his collection. We even had to find storage place for the rest of our collection. I'm moving stuff out of my crib now because I'm over full. You know? No, 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 no. I stay on there. That's my dude, man. <laughs> but he's a b-boy. He breaks. I mean, I mean, we did a gig one night in D.C. And everybody's popping and doing their thing. And all of a sudden, he's like, gets on the mic and goes, yo, y'all make me want to go out there and break. And he just runs out there and leaves the turntable spinning. No one's there to man the turntables. And he's out there doing windmills. What DJ does that? Just because he's getting hyped off everybody else busting a move. Yeah. You know? But that's how much we still go crazy over. We go crazy over every part of it. The music, the breaking, the graffiti, the beats, everything really, it's emotional, man. It really is. It really is. It's emotional. To this day, man, certain records just, I feel like I'm in church. I need to catch the Holy Ghost and your sometimes eyes roll back in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When yeah, I play sure. a record sometimes, I, sometimes I feel like I'm going to cry. Yeah. And I'll be at home by myself, man, just because the memories it brings and, and the way it makes me feel because the kind of music it is. Yeah. yeah. It's all about feeling, man. And hip hop is a feeling. It's, it wouldn't have never been created and turned into a million, billion dollar business if it wasn't a, a feeling attached to it. If I've seen people's reaction to songs when it comes on. It's like, oh, grabbing your face and, oh, my God, doing all this. You can't do that unless the music grabs you that it's way. It's real. Yeah, and that's why, I, that's why I continue to stay underground because the mainstream is not really my home. But if I cross over into the mainstream, I want it to happen by, by not by accident, but, you know, because the music was just forced on its own. It's not like I said, let me make a record to cross into the mainstream. Uh, you know, if it happens, it happens, but I'll never do it planned out to, to, to take that, that route. I, the underground is what I love, man. Yep. What's up with the DJP premiere mixtape? Oh, hey, you know what? One day we will do that because that's my man, DJP. And he makes the wickedest mixtape covers, all that shit, man. Like, like you know, has a thriller fucking cover in his, his face instead of Michael Jackson. I mean, the, the curls actually look like his, but, you know, he, he's, a, he's a fucking fool, man. You got to love DJP. But wait, one day we'll do a crazy-ass tape. I don't do mashups, but yeah, man, we he don't want it with me, together, though. He don't want it with me. DJP, I love you, man. I do. You too. All day, man. We, we're the dirtiest people on the planet. You That's can't right. fuck with us. Tell him.